The question is whether PCL5 is ionic or covalent. So this is phosphorus pentachloride. If we look at the periodic table divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we'll see that phosphorus right here, phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. And then chlorine right over here, that's also a nonmetal. So when we have nonmetals bonded together, we have a covalent compound. PCL5 is a covalent compound. It's also called a molecular compound. If we looked at the structure for PCL5, we see we have the phosphorus here in the center and then chlorine atoms, five of them, spread around the outside. So each one of these lines here, that's a single bond. It represents a pair of electrons shared between the phosphorus and the chlorine. So there's two electrons that are shared between the phosphorus and the chlorine. That's our covalent bond. Electrons are shared. Same thing we can see that over here. Electrons are shared to form the chemical bond between the phosphorus and the chlorine atom. So in answer to the question of whether PCL5 is ionic or covalent, it is covalent. It shares electrons between the phosphorus and the chlorine. It's also called molecular. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.